Hi everybody, welcome back. For those who have been following along, we are going to start on the listing presentation. We are talking about market analysis and this is for the real estate salesperson um, test that you have to take to become a realtor. This is in the United States. This isn't all over. Um, I don't know about international. They probably have different rules in different countries, but this is for the U.S. So when you become a realtor and you get a seller, you're going to try a seller that's interested. You're going to do you're going to do your CMA, which we've already talked about in our last lesson, our last unit. So if you're behind, you need to go back and review those videos. This time we're going to try and get the seller to sign a contract with us so that we can sell their home. It's very important that you get sellers because then you can get your name out there. You get your name out on a, what do you call it, a poll or whatever they use to advertise the product. The more people see your name, the more customers you will get in the future. So it's very good if you can get a seller to have faith in you to list your house. All right, we're going to identify some items to bring to the Kiera pre prepares for the listing presentation. Um, the real estate licensee, Kiera Levi, knew there were two schools of thought regarding the listing presentation. You have to give a marketing pitch and, and have these sellers give them a reason to believe what you're saying when you present your CMA. So you're going to present your CMA on what they should sell for and what they shouldn't sell for. And you want to give them facts and research on what you're basing it upon. According to Kiera, what always factors with every listing presentation is the price. That's what the sellers care about, is what are they going to be able to sell their house for. So I have this resource over here, and we can look at this for a second and talk about it. If you need any of these resources and you want me to email them to you, be sure and contact me on my website page, which is listed into the comments of the YouTube video. You contact me and you let me know specifically what you are looking for because there's like hundreds of resources here. So you want to say preparing for listing presentation and I would like that resource and I can email it to you. Alright, so we're going to kick off the presentation. The, they present the CMA while you tell the sellers everything that they need to do to market their property. Um, if they don't agree with your suggested price range, then you need to discuss it. Um, all right. Let's see what else it says here. Curie had to learn that you never take over price listings because it wasted her time and effort. Uh, it made her look like she didn't know what she was doing and the sellers, it did a sellers a disservice. So, if the sellers didn't agree with her suggested price range, they could discuss it. But if they thought they were living in a Taj Mahal when Kiara saw a three-bedroom, two-bath fixer-upper, there would be no reason to waste everybody's time pitching a listing she didn't want because you know you're not going to be able to sell this. Okay, even if the sellers eventually agreed to a lower, lowering the price, they would resent her for not getting the asking price. So it was best to know right away and cut your losses. You don't want to waste your time on people that are not going to be willing to go down in their price. Discussing the list price. Price was always a factor. Sometimes sellers are looking for the highest price possible normally. And it's fine, but it's also important to figure out what's the pro probable selling price. Because if you go too high, the longer an overpriced property stays on the market, the more desperate the sellers become for an offer. And then the more lowball offers will be thrown out. And sometimes the first offer is the best offer. So it's often the right buyer was just waiting for the perfect property and then make an offer right away. That didn't mean a seller had to accept the first offer, but an offer was just an offer. Even a low offer was a negotiation starting point. It's important to get a CMA because 
They need to demonstrate your knowledge of your local market in the process. And at price rate, the property itself will be half sold. So if the sellers offer no resistance to the price range she arrived, she could discuss her plans to market the property. So this is exactly what your listing presentation wants to do. You want to you want to tell your sellers how you plan on marketing their property after you discuss a price. Um, what are you going to do for them? Okay, you're going to have open houses. You're going to do, um, let's see what else. You're going to do videos. You're going to do these virtual things online where people can look at the house. Kiera preferred to do her entire presentation on her laptop, which is pretty common now, by the way. A hard copy of her CMA and a copy of the marketing plan you can leave with them so they can look at it. All right, you never want to walk into a listing presentation empty-handed. This gives the sellers a sense that you're unprepared or you're arrogant enough to think you can memorize everything that you have written down. So what items does Kiara or a real estate agent, you, in the future, are going to bring to your listing presentation? You're going to bring a marketing plan. You might want to bring some listing contracts. CMA. And maybe this too. I would think all of them. Let's see what it says. Yes, all of these. You want to bring all of this stuff. And don't get so cocky that you think you're going to be able to remember it without bringing it because it's not going to happen. You want to look professional, okay? All right, go get them. The drive across the town took 25 minutes. She rang the doorbell and she said to herself, go get them. You want to keep yourself motivated. All right, so that's preparing for it. The next is the presentation. So come on back to the next video, and we're going to do the presentation. We did preparing for it, and now we're going to actually do it. So I will see everybody on the next video.